Hi. So I was reading the end of Revelation, and I really felt led to read these verses. And just to encourage whoever comes across this video, um, that the book of Revelation is for today. It is unfolding. And truly, Jesus is coming. And let me just read the verses, and then I'll share um, the other thing. Okay, starting Revelation twenty two, twelve. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. This is Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ speaking. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For outside are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is a thirst come, and whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the prophecy, of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. The, Lord, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So this is his holy word in the very end of Revelation, and he really wanted me to read that and to encourage my brothers and sisters <clears throat> to, um, you know, be ready, spiritually ready for the coming of the King, to draw near to Jesus, to leave worldly things behind, to stand firm for the Lord, and you know, because the bride makes herself ready, and I found that image. Okay? When John was seeing this vision, he saw that the bride, <clears throat> excuse me, um, was making herself ready. Had made herself ready. I mean, an amazing vision. And Yeah, so, just want to encourage people to... Um, Please draw near to Jesus Christ and in all truth and just in your heart and, and don't compromise. And just the world has gone crazy. It, it truly has. And we've been seeing those have been those of us who have been woken to these times have been seeing things unfolding for a while now. And what the Lord, another thing the Lord was showing me, and I'm still getting revelation of this, but he's been telling me this often that um, there's a cutting off point because right before the passage I just read and, and just pray about this, okay? And this is not to scare those who are truly love him, but God wants us to continue and to endure unto the end. That's basically what he's saying. And this is Revelation 22, 11 says, He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. He that is holy, let him be holy still. So we have to endure and, and keep growing up until that moment, which is so soon. So I wanted to share that. Um, well, I felt led to share that. And um, that's pretty much all I have for right now. And I hope it encourages somebody and my brothers and sisters in the Lord.